Here we have the Quick 861 Pro Hot Air Rework Station, capable of delivering temperatures between 50 to 550 Celsius at either a gentle breeze or gale force winds. And with up to 1300 watts of power, it's more than capable of reflowing large SMD components or making an emergency snack during work hours. Now with a price tag that is around three to four hundred US dollars depending on where you shop, that's a high price to swallow, even if the popcorn's really good. So why would you spend that much money on something that just produces hot air? Well, what this does is gives you very fine control over the airflow and the temperature, which is exactly what you need if you're assembling SMD circuits or making repairs to them. But that raises the question, is the Quick any good or is it just full of hot air? Let's start our investigation by seeing what's included in the box, where you'll find a manual, grounding alligator clip cable, a stand for the handpiece, a box with extra nozzle tips which I'll get to in a moment, and lastly the 861 Pro unit itself. On the side we can see a list of voice commands which I'll try later. At the back we have the power input and grounding outlet. If you want a wide cone of air for jobs such as heat shrinking, you'll probably want to avoid using any of the nozzles. However, if the job requires localised hot air, you can fit one of the included nozzles. The stand also features a tool for removing said nozzle and it drops onto the stand where it can cool off. Firing up the unit shows a vibrant and bright display. Using the right arrow button cycles through several display modes, each with their own use cases. Lifting up the handpiece starts the hot air automatically. Once you replace the handpiece, the air pump will continue until the temperature is below 100C. Changing modes to the graph, we can see temperature, air speed, heating power and fan power are tracked over time. Setting temperature is done by using the temp arrow buttons. And similarly, you can also set your airspeed using the arrow buttons. CH1 through 4 buttons are customizable profiles which allow you to quickly change between programmed temp and airspeeds. Pressing the cool button stops the heating and cools down the handpiece. You can also issue voice commands. Let's listen to an example. Hey Quick. Hey, what can I do for you? Temperature 350. Temperature to 350. In principle this seems like a great feature. But from my experience, about 80% of the time, it either programs the wrong value or ignores me completely. Hey, quick. Hey, what can I do for you? Airflow rate, 5-0. Hey, quick. Hey, what can I do for you? Airflow rate, 5-0. I did wonder if my voice, or perhaps accent, wasn't being picked up by the quick. So I had a couple of friends also try issuing voice commands, but it didn't make any difference. 
So in my opinion, the whole voice command thing is a bit gimmicky and not worth using. Right, let's move on to real world application. Here I have an Arduino Mega board that features several SMD components to experiment on. I'll be using my digital microscope for viewing as well as recording the video you're about to see. There's a link in the video's description if you're interested in one. First I'll apply flux to the pads. I'll speed up the footage so you don't have to wait while I preheat the PCB. The heat settings I'm using are 20% fan speed and 350 degrees Celsius, which was more than sufficient for this job. Next I cleaned up the flux residue using lacquer thinners. Then I applied solder paste to the pads. And lastly, I soaked up the excess of solder using solder wick. Even large chips aren't a problem for the quick with its 1300 watts of power. Time to have a peek inside the quick and see what's what. Removing the rear cover with four screws allows the assembly to slide out the front of the unit. The housing is made from a single piece of extruded aluminium and feels very solid. Inside the power goes through an EMI filter on its way to the front power switch. This PCB features several large capacitors which I made sure are all drained and safe before proceeding. The PCB features a full bridge rectifier to convert the incoming AC to DC to run the bulk of the machine. On the other hand, I followed the connections to the element in the handpiece to these two solder pads and if my suspicions are correct, the handpiece uses AC power to heat the element, which was confirmed by probing the PCB connections that send power to the element. To regulate the temperature, power is rapidly switched on and off, which is indicated by the fluctuating AC voltage I'm measuring. And lastly, the centrifugal fan is large for this type of application, so no wonder it can deliver gale force winds to rice. In summary, this is a versatile, hot air rework station that packs quite a punch. The voice control was gimmicky and didn't work for me though. I did really like how easy swapping nozzles are and the menu system is quite intuitive. Overall, I would recommend the Quick 861 Pro if you need a hot air rework station. And if you'd like to support the channel, there's a purchasing link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.